Uh, dear students, good morning. Uh, we will see one more program using cursor. And this program is to use a loop structure and to browse through the database table using the cursor. And for that, uh, you need to create a new database table. And I'm just using if not exist. And you can also study this. So this, if you are using if not exist, if the table is already there, it will not create. And if the table is not there, uh, this SQL statement will create a new table using these fields. And later you enter a four or five records into the database table using insert into SQL command. And this is for creating the table and inserting values into this. And we are moving to the real SQL statements. So you declare a dollar dollar as the delimiter and create procedure, display employee info, then uh, begin. Declare done. This is an integer variable. Done is an integer variable. And its default value is false. So this is a true or false variable. And we set a default value as false. Then uh, three variables we are declaring to fetch the information from the database table. And these are employee ID 1, one integer variable. Then employee name 1 another variable of type varchar. Then employee salary one, this is a decimal type variable with the two decimal numbers. So we have declared three variables for uh, fetching data from the uh, table using the cursor. Then we define a cursor, declare employee cursor. So we define a new cursor. And this cursor is for select employee ID, employee name and salary from employees. So three fields are fetched from the uh, database table. And we use a cursor for holding these values temporarily. Then <clears throat> here, this may be a new statement for you. We declare a continue handler for not found. So this is a single statement. Declare continue handler for not found. So this is actually for browsing through the values stored in the cursor. And we declare a continue handler for not found. So this continue handler, we define one. And this is used for browsing through the information fetched from the database and stored in the cursor. So you just imagine like this, you have a database table, we have few fields there. And these, uh, from the fields, we have uh, fetched the values by using a select statement. And those values are stored in the cursor. And it may be having many values. And we need to browse through the values uh, temporarily stored in the cursor, starting from the first value, first record, then to the next record, and then to the next record. And finally, if there is no value, then we need to stop. And for that purpose, we declare a continue handler. And this is for not found. And set done is equal to true. So we use the variable which we had declared earlier. It was an integer type variable and default value is false. Done, integer default value is false. And we set is a continue hand, we set it as a continue handler. And uh, this done is equal to true means once the uh, cursor is empty, when nothing is found in the cursor, this done will become true. 
then we say open employee cursor so that cursor is opened then read loop so we start a loop structure for browsing through the cursor and we give a name for that loop structure so this is actually a label for the loop structure for this particular loop we give a label and the label is read underscore loop then we say fetch employee cursor into employee id one employee name one and employee salary one so these are the three variables we declared in the beginning of this procedure and uh, the values are fetched into these three variables so these when you use this fetch uh, statement initially the first record will be selected the first uh, first record which are brought from the database table will be selected then uh, we are in this loop the loop starts from here so this this is the loop the, uh, the loop starts from here then if done then so if done is true so we say that continue handler not found then the uh, done value will be true so not found means if the cursor is empty nothing is found there then leave read loop so if the cursor is empty if nothing is found in the cursor then leave the loop and end if so if the cursor is empty and all the records are fetched from the cursor then the variable done will become true then if the variable done is true then we will be leaving the read loop and for this purpose we have named or we have labeled this loop structure so uh, if the cursor is empty we will be exiting we will be coming out of the loop and still we are in the loop structure this is only a conditional exit from the uh, loop structure then we say select contact a select concat so we are concatenating employee id so this employee id will be employee id 1 the first variable we have fetched then the second variable then the third variable so these three variables are displayed by using a select statement and the heading will be employee info then we are also giving a label for the values being displayed so after this we are ending the loop structure so these statements fetch and select fetch and select statements are within this loop structure within this loop structure so that uh, continuously this loop structure will be fetching information from the cursor then the information will be displayed by using select and also this will check for the end of information so if the information the end of information in the cursor is met then done will be true if done is true then we will come out of the loop structure then close employee cursor then we are coming to an end of this stored procedure and we are putting back the delimiter as semicolon and finally by using uh, any of these methods you can execute directly from the uh, procedure uh, by using execute button or from sql editor you can say call display employee info you can uh, call this so this is how uh, we traverse through different records of a database table by using a cursor in a stored procedure okay thank you